New tonight, if you've tried to visit one of the new Trader Joe's, you probably had to do what we had to do, and that's drive around in circles looking for a parking spot. But the neighbors around that store at 8th and Colorado and Denver, tired of circling, they just want to go home. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live at Trader Joe's. Jacqueline, those neighbors are sounding off tonight. That's right. You know, Trader Joe's does have the required number of parking uh, spaces by city code. They only have to have 36 and they have about 90, but that's no comfort for the people who live in these neighborhoods who can't park at, at, next to their own homes. Trader Joe's, just about everyone wanted it until they saw the traffic that came with it. Why, why did the developer have to address these before he built the building? He did address why everything he according to the co Denver code that we have. Well, the something. code is totally inadequate. In tonight's packed town hall meeting, angry neighbors want answers about what's going to be done. We can't park on our own street anymore. Joanne Bader presenting a petition with nearly 150 signatures asking for solutions to traffic and parking problems. When we park on both sides and then we have drivers uh, driving north and south on our street, we've had hit and runs every day, all day long. We're not alone. We checked and found reports of Trader Joe's parking woes from Texas to California to Florida. It's a nightmare. I agree with you. But Councilwoman Mary Beth Sussman hosting the meeting says eventually there will be 20 Trader Joe's across the front range instead of just three. And when things settle down, traffic engineers will look for solutions. But we can't create a rule for everybody in the neighborhood for something that isn't going to be around in a little while. In a little while, I don't have parking now. Yeah, these neighbors want immediate fixes, but the councilwoman said realistically, that's just not going to happen. She did talk, though, about eventually getting more enforcement, also signage, maybe even a slow down lane on Colorado. And she said that Trader Joe's will be meeting with people in the neighborhood to talk about possible solutions. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.